Pathways to the Professions empowers school students, their families, their advisors to make realistic and informed choices for very high demand areas like law, medicine, vet medicine and architecture. We work with the 46 local state schools in Edinburgh and the Lothians and target the students who are first in their family to go to university or who attend a low progression school where not many of their peer group would go on to higher education. Students can register through their school or they can simply find the website to go online. We also give advice about the project at school-based events or higher education conventions. The project gives students insight into careers and courses to give them an idea of what it's really like to be a professional. So we run observation weeks. They will get large-scale careers events open to everyone, such as so you want to be a doctor or so you want to be a lawyer. So it's really giving them a wide range of insight as well as coming into the university to see what it's really like to be a student here. I joined the Pathways programme at the start of S5. The first thing that was involved in was, so you want to be a doctor. Yeah, at this, there was loads of different activities planned, such as clinical skills, learning about medical school and how you learn at medical school, giving me a real general insight into a career in medicine. At school, I was the only one applying to medical school, so it's a bit of a different system to applying to uni. So Pathways just gave me that extra help to help me do it. There's always someone there at the end of the phone or email who you can speak to, give you guidance about personal statements or subject choices or just anything that you're concerned about. I think Pathways offers you much more than just practical events. It, it also gives you um, someone to go to for information. It, it can be quite daunting for a fifth or sixth year high school student who's 17 years old trying to understand the university system. Um, but you actually get the chance to speak to admission staff who tell you exactly what you need to do to get into Edinburgh, which is invaluable. Um, but they also put you in touch with um, medical students, so you get to find out what it's like to be a student. I went to a So You Want To Be A Vet day, and that was really, it was really good. That was one of the turning points when I thought this is really for me because you got to meet the staff again, but go around the facilities and see someone do ultrasound on a dog and do things like think about client situations and how you would react to them and it was just really getting your teeth into what the career would be about. You get to go into theatre and get scrubbed up and um, don all the, the surgery gown, go into cardiology, urology, speak to GPs, patients and obviously on my personal statement when I was applying through UCAS, having that sort of experience behind me really stood out. One of the key features about the project is that we work closely with the professional bodies and practitioners. So we're actually giving insight to the pathway right through in terms of the course and the career. I've been involved in the Pathways project for a number of years and uh, that started off by speaking at uh, So You Want To Be A Lawyer event uh, and then we followed that up by offering work experience placements to several of the students who expressed an interest and in see what happens at court. So we've taken them up to court and they've seen real cases uh, that either me or my colleagues have been involved in. I myself was state educated and um, came from a background, uh, neither of my parents were architects, my mum didn't go to university and I felt that if I'd had experience of going into an architect's office that it would have been a great thing. So we've been, for the last three years, taking a couple of kids twice yearly um, into the office and we try and involve them in every aspect of an architect's job over that couple of days. So if somebody is going on a site visit, we'll get them togged up in all the safety gear and off they'll go to go on a site visit and see that side of the work. If there's a client meeting, they will sit in on a client meeting and experience that. They will get to do some drawing work on the computer or possibly making a model. They don't all necessarily leave here wanting to be architects, but they certainly enjoy the even just the experience of the office environment is a valuable one, um, and there are a lot of associated professions that I'm sure they also consider. I just completed my four years of the LLB here at Edinburgh. Through Pathways, I actually came into university knowing people, and it just made my life that little bit easier. 
For the next academic year, I'm undertaking the diploma in professional legal practice again here at Edinburgh, which is a nine-month course, and you do that after your degree if you want to go on and practice as a solicitor in Scotland. Uh, after that, I already have a traineeship, so after the diploma, I will then go and work for a firm for two years to complete my traineeship, and then after that, uh, I should be fully qualified as a solicitor. We've had over 3,000 students through the project since its start. It's not just about raising aspirations, it's about opening the doors to the University of Edinburgh or to higher education in general. It's really good to see them coming out the other end and actually going into the professions and becoming the doctors, lawyers, vets and architects of the future. <laughs>